this is Jackie with Metal Wani and we're out in Mesa, Arizona at Club Red and I'm here with Frederick from Hammerfall. How are you? Fine, thanks. You? I'm doing well, thank you. So you guys are on tour right now with Delane. How's the tour been going so far? It's been really great so far. I mean, way better than expected actually. Uh, I mean, it was seven years since we were out in, in North America tour. Yes. So it's been a long time and this was kind of see where we where we stand, if it's possible to, to tour this area. And it's been w really good. Yeah, a lot of the shows have been sold out. Yeah, it seems like most shows have been really packed and almost sold out or sold out. So yeah, really good. So your latest album, Built to Last, has been out for a bit now. Would you say you got a really good fans response to the album? Oh yes, I mean, um, being able to do this uh, after 20 years and, and people are still excited for a new Hammerfall album, it's such an honor. And uh, this record has been really well welcomed. I, I, they, I mean, on, on, the, um, on the shows we do, the, the new songs is really appreciated. Yeah. So, yeah. So with this album, do you feel like you hit a critical point of uh, creativity? Or do you think that you still have more to surpass? Oh yeah, I mean, it's always hard to to reinvent yourself yeah. for for every record. And 20 years and 10 albums, it's it's a long way. So, um, but it feels like we have something. It's a good chemistry, and um, it seems like we evolve. Even though it's still Hammerfall, we have written rules where what's Hammerfall and what's not. Um, I mean, we play old school heavy metal and and that's it so but it feels like we, we're getting like a step up every record so yeah what was the inspiration behind this album well it, that's a question for for Joachim and, and Oscar most uh, I take inspiration from everything and but I I just create my, my own bass lines for the most part and I'm not involved in the, in the song writing process were you involved in maybe deciding the artwork or some part of that? No, um, I know for this album, uh, Joachim just had an idea and he talked to Andreas Marshall for the cover artist. So they they took some ideas back and forth, and uh, it ended up with this. Most of the um, covers are very consistent, and they kind of have a same theme going on. So yeah, I mean, it's Hector, our our mascot. Yeah, um, and. Um, it's, it seems like Joaquin wants to, uh, to do something that reflects the album, so um, yeah, he usually have a vision about it and, and speaks about to the, to, the, to the artist. So on this album you guys did kind of go more for a classic Hammerfall type of sound with epic anthems. Is that something you think about before you write a song or just naturally happens? Uh, I, I mean, we think we wanted to do classic heavy metal the way that we want to listen to it and um, and you have to, to progress and do something that still sounds fresh yeah. so I think um, Fredrik Nordström uh, the producer really hit the spot with this album it's, it's, it's really up to date but still sounds like classic Hammerfall mm -hmm. What was um, did you do anything different on the writing and recording process for this album? Uh, not actually. I mean, this this album is uh, almost the same setup as uh, Revolution. Uh, recorded the same way with the same people, and it worked so good when we came back after the break and we recorded Revolution. So we really wanted to to uh, continue on this path. The only big difference is that uh, David is playing the drums instead of uh, Anders, of course. Did you set aside time to write uh, the music, or do you write on the road? No, Oscar sets up the time. So he, he really needs to sit down and um, push himself. So, okay, I need to work between these hours and, and uh, try to do something. Even if it's not ends up on the record, I need to do something. Uh, and the more he, he does, the, the more uh, energy he gets and, and to, to write the, the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, Sweden has brought us very many uh, amazing metal bands from Meshuggah, Candlemass and more. Do you think that the diverse group of bands that come from there is a reason why Sweden is put on kind of the metal map of the world? Yeah, I mean, 
there's a lot of when 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 I grew up uh, in and um, played music in the 90s uh, there was a lot of um, death metal bands coming from Gothenburg area yeah. and um, and that the Gothenburg sound obviously and they kind of it's a small city yeah. it's not a big city so uh, everyone went to see the other bands and uh, if someone had a success uh, they thought that why we can have success too so so it was kind of a snowball effect i, I think mm-hmm. and um, i mean we we grew up with a lot of music around us and we have music in school and it's easy to get a rehearsal space and uh, they encourage us to, to to play so yeah we have a good environment for 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 artists i guess yeah in a recent interview with Lordy's frontman, he said that in Finland a lot of people are starting to like more rap and other genres rather than metal. Do you think that that's happening in Sweden? I actually have no idea. I'm not in the rap okay. scene at all, so I don't know <laughs> much about it. So, but um, I mean, there's a lot of different things uh, playing on the radios and stuff. So, yeah, I think we have a, a good scene in in most of the genres. Do you feel like metal is more mainstream in Europe rather than America? Yeah, I would say so. We, I mean, in America, you have a lot, so many radio stations, and and they're playing the specific thing. But in Sweden, we have a couple of national radio stations, and uh, then some commercial radio stations. And the national, they play a big variety of music. You can hear metal and pop and whatever. Yeah, metal's kind of still underground in America. It's it's strange yeah. unless you're really big. You're not really going to hear certain no. bands on the radio. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we listen to uh, there's a lot of the, the big ones in, in Sweden, and they play get played on radio, absolutely. And then a lot of bands uh, that most of us like here in America are from over there, and it's rare when a lot of power metal bands come to America. Do you think there's a specific reason why, or it's just more uh, accepted over there than it is here? I have really no idea, but uh, it seems like um, a lot of bands from America are are aiming at the top, and and that's the kind of radio rock thing. So it's it's a bit more commercial. The big bands here uh, yeah. uh, seems like. What would you say are bigger bands over there that to us we've never heard of or never seen? From Europe? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like um, I know uh, Primordial, like never really comes here. No. And then in every time I see all their flyers, they're always touring in Europe, and yeah. they just they never come. There's, there's a, a lot, lot of, of uh, but I mean, there's a lot of bands touring all the time because yeah. that's the way to to make an income nowadays. Um, many bands don't sell that much records, and and I mean, in the back in the days, you had to have an album to promote the tour, mm-hmm. but now it's you have to get out on tour to be able to make an album pretty much yeah so how much would you say the scene has changed since you've been in it um too much <laughs> too much i mean I, you, I can just look at the numbers for for selling gold it's dropping and dropping yeah. and dropping you can't make it to gold because nobody buys anything no uh, of course it counts the the downloads counts as well but uh, i heard some some figures just a couple of weeks ago that they're actually selling more vinyls than downloads in, yeah. in the UK and uh, I saw I that mean, too yeah it's yeah. wow <laughs> it's like a vintage item that's coming back and a yeah. lot of bands are doing it yeah I mean selling vinyls is really good but I mean it can't be that high numbers so the downloads must be not not too good I guess that and you have Spotify and you just you yeah. know you get a penny per every 10 songs mm, or yeah <laughs> it's changed a lot. <laughs> yeah, it did. Uh, you just mentioned to me earlier that you will be playing a couple festivals this summer. Mm-hmm. Anything that you're most excited about? Uh, let's see. Fuck, I don't even remember the names of the festivals we're doing. There's a lot of festivals, I know. Um, Specific countries you really love? I mean, it's always good. Germany is always good yeah. for us. It's a, such a big country and a lot of people. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. Awesome. I just want to say thank you for taking the time and good luck with the rest of the tour. Oh, thank you very much. It's going to be awesome.